Have you ever wondered if cute cars have it easier than the tough-looking ones? Like, can those adorable headlights and funky designs charm their way into our hearts and maybe get a pass for a few slip-ups? Enter the Microlino. This tiny electric ride might just be onto something when it comes to answering those questions about cars. Join us in this video as we review this car and how it might change the idea of compact cars as we know it. The evolution of urban cars has been quite a journey. Remember the iconic city cruisers like the OG Mini or the Fiat 500s? They used to rule the streets worldwide. But with safety regulations and the push for electric power, these rides have bulked up significantly. Take the latest smart car for instance. It's nearly 170 inches long and weighs over 4,000 pounds, quite a departure from the zippy compact cars we once adored. However, there's a new player in town turning heads in Europe and beyond, the Micro Lino. It's a modern take on BMW's classic Isetta. This old-school bubble car, extinct in Europe by the 70s, had a quirky front entrance that still brings a smile to anyone who spots one. It was tiny, less than 90 inches long, and ran on a two-stroke engine. Safe? Not really. Relevant? Definitely not. Yet Swiss inventor Wim Uberter saw potential where others saw irrelevance. He reimagined this classic as an electric rise, or technically, a quadricycle. The concept of quadricycles as city wheels isn't entirely new. Back in 2011, big names like Audi, VW, Opel, and Renault showcased their versions at the Frankfurt Auto Show. All electric, all aiming to be these L70 heavy quadricycles. Except for Renault's Twizy, most ended up forgotten. But now Stellantis enters the game with the Citroen Ami and Opel Rock Z, both representing the smaller L6C light quadricycles. They're practical, but some find city speeds a bit too leisurely, and they're a no-go on motorways. Then comes the Micro Lino, continuing the legacy left by the Nils and the Raki. It's smaller than the 2008 Smart 42 in the States, but it's a different breed altogether. The Smart? Solid, safe, hitting close to 100 miles per hour and acing crash tests. But the Micro Lino? It's in quadricycle territory, where the rules are a bit more forgiving. The Micro Lino's journey wasn't smooth sailing. It all began when Micro Mobility, a company known for crafting adult pedal scooters, stepped into the automotive world with initial Micro Lino designs in 2015. The official design study debuted at the 2016 Geneva Motor Show to a standing ovation. But things got complicated. Legal issues with their initial production partner led to a complete revamp, resulting in the Micro Lino 2.0. They practically rebuilt it from scratch, opting for a unibody architecture instead of the original tubular frame. And just when they thought the storm had passed, 2020 brought its chaos. Despite all odds, this egg-shaped wonder started its production journey in 2022. When it comes to design, the Micro Lino draws significant inspiration from the legendary Isetta. Have you heard of it? The Isetta, originally an Italian marvel by ISO, interesting tidbit, Isetta also means little ISO, later licensed and manufactured by BMW, serves as the visual muse for the Micro Lino. And where does this modern marvel come to life? In Italy, naturally. It's assembled in a factory in Turin, a joint venture between Micro and their partner Seacom. The Micro Lino makes quite the first impression. At 8.3 feet long, 4.8 feet wide, and 4.9 feet tall, it's a compact egg-shaped cube, perfect for city living. Its top speed of 56 miles per hour makes it suited for city streets, with brief highway joints possible. And those 13-inch wheels? They're the unsung heroes supporting this little wonder. Approaching the Micro Lino, the first puzzle to solve is its large refrigerator-style front door. There is no exterior handle magic here. Unlock it with a key, then press a button under the left exterior mirror to slide it open effortlessly. There's even an electric soft close, so there's no need for any slamming. Behind the wheel, there's a bench seat beckoning. It slides back and forth, but if you're really tall, let's say 6 feet 2 inches tall, you may find it a bit snug. The exterior mirror adjustment? A bit out of sight? Blame it on the heights. The driver's side hosts the automatic transmission knob snugly nestled in the wheel well. An armrest would be nice, but the handbrake lever has claimed its spot. Mirrors inside? They're not present, but fear not. They promise a fix with a suction cup. Surprisingly, the space inside is quite good. Two can sit comfortably on the bench, albeit snugly due to its narrowness. The trunk space is impressive, offering 8.1 cubic feet, enough for three crates of water or even a furry friend. What's inside? A small display behind the wheel keeps you updated on battery life, speed, and recuperation stats. To the right, elongated touch displays handle ventilation, rear window heating, and tailgate access. Instead of AC, it offers old-school sliding side windows and a manual folding roof for fresh air. 
Need navigation? Your smartphone's got your back. It is a breath of fresh air amidst the screen extravaganzas in larger electric SUVs, and at a mere £959 without batteries, this Microlino is light. Inside, hard plastic keeps things simple yet functional, while fabric adds a touch of coziness to the ambience. Imagine the first few meters in the Microlino, and a distinctive streetcar-like sound fills the air. Yep, this little wonder isn't the quietest ride, especially with its compact shape offering little space for sound insulation. That constant electric hum becomes your companion, and when rain taps the windshield, the single wiper's motor makes itself heard. Noise, vibration, harshness? They're on the radar for the Microlino makers, who are already planning to switch up the transmission supplier for a smoother, quieter ride. But beyond the background, the Microlino feels right at home in the city, drawing attention as it cruises through the urban landscape. Yet, it's an adjustment for the driver. The vehicle ends right in front of your feet, and braking requires a firm foot, despite its clever regeneration capabilities. Forget the casual one-pedal driving here, and when at a standstill, turning the steering wheel takes a bit more effort without power steering. Beneath its charming exterior, an electric motor in the rear propels the Microlino, producing 17 horsepower and a max torque of 66 pound-feet. It's not a powerhouse by any means, but it's perfectly suited for city journeys. It swiftly reaches 31 miles per hour, though don't expect Porsche taken like rocket accelerations, though there is a sport mode which is fancy. Let's drive into the numbers. As per the manufacturer's specs, following WLTP standards, power consumption varies between 10.7 and 9.4 miles per kilowatt hour, depending on the battery size. Speaking of batteries, there are three lithium-ion pack options, a 6 kilowatt hour version offering a 56 mile range in the basic model, a 10.5 kilowatt hour pack providing up to 110 miles, and the largest, a 14 kilowatt hour option boasting a maximum of 143 miles. Remember, these are WLTP estimates. When it comes to charging, the Microlino welcomes a J1772 plug. With the right cable, it can charge at AC stations, wall boxes, or even a regular household socket. The onboard charger delivers an output of 2.6 kilowatts, 1.3 kilowatts for the smallest battery. What does this mean? An empty battery reaches 80% capacity in a reasonable 3 to 4 hours. Unfortunately, there's no DC fast charging available due to the smaller battery sizes. On the longer drives, the Microlino suspension comfort faces a challenge. With its wheelbase just under 5.1 feet, let's dub it the Pothole Finder, because it seems to detect every bump. Cobblestones and potholes? You'll definitely feel them seated on the moderately cushioned seat. Your back might start to voice some complaints after a while. First up in Germany is the Pioneer Edition, a lavish offering limited to 400 units. It boasts LED headlights, a stylish LED strip at the front and rear, and comes in Atlantis Blue or Torino Aluminium. The grand entrance fee? Starting from $25,008 or €22,690, available for online orders. Next up are the Urban, Dolce and Competition models. The Urban, the budget-friendly choice, rocks a 6 kilowatt hour battery and a closed roof, at $650 or €590 for that folding roof. It kicks off at at least $19,497 or €17,690. Moving up, the Dolce Edition enters the scene at $21,701 or €19,690, available with all three battery options. Meanwhile, the Competition demands $23,906 or €21,690 and offers a choice between medium and large battery sizes, with an additional $1,653 or €1,500 for the battery upgrade. But let's compare against some reality checks. The Dacia Spring, a more highway friendly ride, starts at $17,600. $134 or €16,000, and the Petite Ari 902 begins at $15,430 or €14,000. The Microlino does embody that nobody needs it, everybody wants this ethos. It reigns supreme in the design world for light vehicles, but indeed, does come with a weighty price tag. While the Dacia Spring might make more sense logically, it might not evoke the same emotional response. Sometimes, with this electric retro gem, the heart wins over the head. As a city runabout for daily chores or pizza deliveries might stretch the budget a bit, however envision it as an advertising vehicle and it's a showstopper. The attention it attracts is remarkable, but though smitten by its charm, patience might be the key. The Microlino is on a trajectory towards optimization, which could potentially make it more budget-friendly as production scales up. On a global scale, Europe has a firm grip on the Microlino, but North America? It's more of a hopeful wish than a definite certainty. 
reports suggest a longer wait due to different licensing regulations, putting the dreams of Microlino enthusiasts on hold for a while.